Oh, and I have Tank here too. And Mackenzie's, where did Finn go? He'll probably be popping back in. <laughs> oh, yay. Good morning, Sarah. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So we're going to start um, on our backs in reclined butterfly. Good morning. And so we're going to open up hips and heart today. So if you want to head there now, you can, or if you want to just sit and connect with the breath, you can. Otherwise, yeah, butterfly on your back or butterfly seated. Open up those hips and bring that heart into our awareness. I'm so glad that we're all here. Let's inhale, full breath in, and a full breath out. Connecting with our breath, ultimately connecting with ourself. And our inspiration for our practice today is still from our Eat Dessert First book. And our message for today is kiss a frog just in case. Kiss a frog just in case. So you can just sit with that. Mackenzie kissed her frog. <laughs> you just think about that, right? Does that hope when that story behind kissing a frog, there's that hope, that belief. Can bring that into our space today. Our ability to manifest really. Just visualizing, trusting, and then just going in for the kiss, going in for the kill. So what do we want to manifest? What do we want to create? Just breathe it in. Breathe it out. If you're not in butterfly already, find that butterfly. And if you're lying down, you can stay lying down. If you're seated, you can be seated. But we're going to just bring our feet to the floor. So it looks like a couple of you are seated. So I'm going to just guide it as if everybody were seated. And if you're on the floor, you can basically just do the same thing. We're just going to bring our knees over to the right. So the left knee can kind of stack in the right shin a little bit, maybe opening up the left side of the hip. And if you're on your back, it's just the same movement. You might feel it a little more in the spine if you're, if you're on your back. But if you're seated, just opening up the outer hip. Exhale over the other side. Stack the right knee kind of on the middle of the left calf. Knees out to the side, opening up. And that right glute, the right other hand. And then let's go back over to the other side. And our hands are kind of behind us to support us, as you can kind of see. And over the other side. And if that's too tricky, um, if you have an arm injury, <laughs> then lie down. And we'll just do that on the first side. And we'll windshield wiper one more time. Over to the right. Over to the left. Nice job, guys. And now bring feet to the floor, knees to the sky. And then let's press up so we're kind of seated. We're going to come in your reverse tabletop. If you're already seated, then bring the hands back. Press the feet into the floor. Inhale, lift the hips up. Maybe you move the hands a little bit and you can readjust. So maybe they're kind of under the shoulders. We're going to open up that heart. Let's bring the head back. The head drop. Exhale, lower down with the seats, the feet. Bring the hands up just below the knees, shine the heart forward, kind of rounding the back. And exhale, lower down. Let's bring our forearms to the earth this time. Press the feet into the earth. We're going to lift up. This is kind of our wrist free. We did this last week. Inhale. Exhale down. Press up. Feet kind of come forward. Hands below the knees, roll the shoulders back with the heart up. Shine it forward. Kind of like that Care Bear stare. <laughs> Slide the heart around the back. And now let's exhale, bring our hands to the earth behind us again. We're onto the forearms. We're going to lift, press through the hips, lift up, inhale. And then exhale, lower down the seat. 
then bring the feet behind us, hands in front, coming into tabletop just long enough to get the knees under the hips. And then bring the forearms down, melt the heart, walk the hands far, far, far. Heart melting pose, anahatasana, puppy pose. Those hips are stacked over the knees. Hands reach in front, let's inhale. Exhale, sigh. Now inhale, let's lift up just a little bit to bring the left arm underneath, so maybe the back of the arm is on the floor, that palm is up, and then bring the chest down so the right arm is in front, kind of opening up the shoulder on the left side, opening up the shoulders to open up the heart. Gaze can be down, forehead on the floor, one more breath in. And then exhale, press the right hand into the floor, lift up so the left arm comes in front now. Bring the left arm far in front, and then the right arm can bring it up and then send it through. So the right shoulder, right back of the arm on the floor, the right palm is up, the head comes down. If you notice the right shoulder opening, the left hand pressing into the earth. Draw the belly button to the spine. Let's inhale. Exhale, sigh. Now one more breath in. And exhale, press the left hand into the floor, lift the chest up, bring the right arm up to the sky if you want, and then forward, and then lower down onto the forearms, send the legs back, tops of the legs, tops of the feet for sphinx pose. Those elbows can be underneath the, um, the shoulders, or if you have a little low back, get it hurts the low back a little bit, bring those elbows further forward away from underneath the shoulders. Otherwise, Elbows down, spread the fingers, press the fingers into the floor, lift the heart and lift the chest. Maybe pull those elbows towards the hips, press the pubic bone into the floor, and feel the heart lift. Maybe close the eyes. What are we manifesting with our energy in our space? Breathe it in. And then exhale. Let's Lift the hips, we press the knees into the floor, walk the knees forward, come into our dolphin pose, lift the hips, lift the seat, press into the forearms, the hands, the balls of the feet, and now dip the right knee down, and then bring it up, and then dip the left knee down, and bring it up, and now let's try to bring our right knee to that right tricep, we'll kind of hover forward a little bit, so the shoulder maybe floats over the um, elbow, and that's, that's right. That's totally fine. Right leg goes back. You can bring the left knee to the left tricep. Maybe you don't float as far forward, but if you float forward, it's fine. Bring the left foot back. And now let's come into downward facing dog. Straighten the arms. Bring that belly button to the spine. Exhale. Sink that heart towards the thighs. Deep breath in. And now exhale. Bring the right foot forward. The left hand comes on the inside of the foot, and the right arm goes up. Feel the heart space radiating out the fingertips. Nice, guys. Reach for the sky. Press the right foot into the floor and notice how the leg responds. The left ball of the foot. Send the heel back. Press the ball into the floor. and feel how the left leg responds. It's really active now. Let's breathe in. Exhale, bring that right hand down. So we frame the foot with the hands. And then we lift our arms up. We rise. Press the feet into the floor. Exhale, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, bring those hands back towards the wall, lift the heart, lift the chest, maybe a slight back bend. Exhale, let's pause here for a couple breaths. If that doesn't work very well to bring the hands together, then just bring the hands to the fingertips, point down, and kind of reach the fingertips towards the floor. You're still going to open up that heart, but it's a little less on the shoulders. I know some of us have some sensitive shoulders. Breathe in. Now exhale, let's fold, hover the heart over that front leg. Maybe feeling and noticing our legs now. Maybe they're starting to burn. Let's inhale. Now exhale with the heart. Let's rise. Release the hands if they're interlaced and reach the arms to the sky. And exhale, fold it forward, frame the foot, lower the left knee, send the right foot or the right knee back to meet the left. Rise up, so the hips stack over the knees, the arms rise. And then exhale, bring the hands to the side. 
plant those knees so they're right under the hips. Shoulders roll up and back over the hips. Bring the hands to the back pockets. Or maybe that low back. Roll the shoulders up and back. Lift through the heart. And now send the hips forward. Press the legs and the hips forward. And we'll send the heart up and back for a little variation of booth thrust and that camel pose. Opening up the hips and the heart. Maybe drop the head back a little bit. And then exhale, bring everything forward. Bring the forearms to the earth. <clears throat> Let's find dolphin pose. Ardha Pincha Mayurasana. One breath in. Exhale through the mouth, sigh. <sighs> And then let's bring that right knee towards that right tricep. We kind of float forward over, shoulder over, elbows to the right, leg back. Left knee up towards the left tricep. And now send it back. And now straighten the arms, finding down the facing dog for just a breath. We'll inhale. Exhale, the heart sinks towards the thighs. Maybe walk the feet forward, coming into even a deeper V here. And bring our downward facing dog feet forward. And now let's just step the left foot forward between the hands, the right foot back. Inhale for a crescent lunge. Lift the arms, lift up the heart. Nice, ladies. The heart open. Breathe it in. <sighs> ground through the left foot, ground through the right foot. Nice, nice, really nice, guys. Exhale, bring the hands together behind the back. And then pull those hands towards that back wall, lifting the heart. Feel the hips kind of stable and strong here as we press the feet into the floor. You may notice that the right hip flexor. As we press the ball, the right foot into the earth, lifting the heart. And then we'll exhale, humbly bow forward. Those fingertips can reach for the sky. And again, if that's not so comfortable on the shoulders, just kind of hover the heart and the arms can just curl back like this. So find what works for you. We're going to breathe in and out here. Feel the heart hover, our energy manifesting to go in for the kiss. Believing and trusting that that frog's gonna turn into a prince. Knowing and trusting that our thoughts and our energy can manifest for our highest good. Let's inhale. And exhale, release the hands, spring the foot. I can feel my shoulders now. Right hand into the floor, or maybe it's on a block. Left arm reaches up, radiate out of the heart space through the fingertips towards the sky. Breathing in and out, keeping the hips in the middle if they are kind of creeping towards the left with the arm and the bent leg. Keep it strong in the middle. Let's inhale. And now exhale, bring that left hand down. Move the block out of the way, frame the foot. Now let's step everything forward this time so our feet meet at the front. Exhale and inhale here. And now cross the right leg in front of the left foot. So our feet are crossed and we're going to hang. You notice the back of the left leg open. And sigh. Now uncross the feet. And then bring the left foot in front. And hold here. Uttanasana surrendering with our heart. Just a little bit higher than our heads here in this inversion. Let's inhale. Exhale, sigh, bend the knees, uncross the feet. Let's come up to stand. So bending the knees and rising all the way up. Exhale, hands can come to the side. We'll rest in our mountain pose, shoulders back, heart forward. And sigh. So inhale. Now make sure you've got a block handy, maybe towards the left corner of the mat. Front left corner of the mat if you have one. If not, it's totally fine. You have a pouch or a chair. We're going to come into our half moon, so sometimes it's kind of nice to have a block. We're going to step the right foot back to warrior two first. So bring the toes of the right foot towards the long edge and bend that front left leg. Maybe check and see if you can see that left big toe. And then we'll inhale to bring our arms open wide and feel that heart space radiate out. Maybe even bring the hands to the heart, sweep it across the shoulders and then out, just kind of encouraging it with awareness of touch to open. Feel the hips strong. We send that right hip back. Let's inhale. And then exhale, bring that elbow towards the left 
knee, maybe stack it on top, reach up with the right hand, again, radiating out of the heart space and up. And then we'll exhale, come back to warrior two. Now straighten that front leg. Let's reach it forward for triangle. Reach that left hand forward over the foot and exhale, hinge at the waist. Bring these hips open. The legs are stable and strong. The hips are strong. Let's inhale. And now exhale, warrior two. And maybe if the hands come to the hips, we're going to heel toe that left foot forward and just kind of straighten that left leg as we bring the weight into the left foot. The left hand finds that block. Lift the right leg up. Stack those hips one on top of another and reach the right hand for sky. And then feel that heart radiate out the fingertips, out that leg into the earth. That right leg can be high or can be low. The left leg can even be bent a little bit. So find your variation. Let's inhale. Now exhale, let's head back to warrior two. Sigh. And now let's straighten that left leg. Let's bring the right foot toes forward. So we kind of hinge, twisting the feet, kind of rearranging the feet. Now let's bend that left knee, bring the hands to the inside of the foot, bring the left foot out, and we're going to come to lizard pose. So you can keep that right knee lifted, or it can be lowered. Let that left hip really come out to the side. So maybe the left foot is partly off of the mat, or you're on the blade edge of the left foot. You can keep the right leg lifted. Your arms, your hands can be on the floor, or your forearms can be down. So find your lizard pose. Just a couple breaths here. Exhale. We'll inhale. Now exhale, let's bring our hands to the mat if they're not there already. Lower the right knee to the floor. The left knee comes in. Heel toe the left foot in. And then we'll rise in a low lunge. You noticing that hip flexor. Inhale. Nice. And exhale, we feel the shoulders rest. Feet ground, bringing in our energy to manifest. Let's see. Now exhale, let's bring the hands down to frame the foot. Send the foot back. So knees meet. We're going to come into our camel again. So we'll roll the shoulders up and back. Stack the shoulders over the hips, hips over the knees. And now you can maybe curl the toes under if you want. Or the tops of the feet could be on the floor. Roll the shoulders back. Send the hips forward, hands in the back pocket or on that low back. Heart lifts, and then we offer a slight back bend as the heart and the head go back with the hips forward. The glutes are active. Let's inhale. And then exhale, bring everything forward. Let's bring our hands to the earth. Step that right foot between the hands, and we'll come right up to warrior two. So the left foot's back. And pivot the left heel down, the right leg is bent, left foot back. Inhale, warrior two. I'm going to turn and face you guys. Feel that warrior two in the body on the other side. Open up the hips, open up the heart, radiate all the love out through the fingertips, down to the earth, out the crown of the head. Let's inhale. Exhale that right elbow on top of that right knee. You reach across the sky with the left hand. And exhale. Exhale, side out again. And then we'll inhale, rise, arms out wide, straighten that front leg. Exhale, let the energy go. Let some heat go with our legs straight. When we bend our knees, it collects some heat. So we'll let ourselves cool off here. Exhale, and then we'll reach over the top of that right foot towards the wall with that right hand. And then hinge up the waist, trikonasana. And then we let out some heat on this left side body, out the spleen side of the body. So let ourselves cool off. We can exhale, sigh. One more exhale. And then inhale, warrior two. Exhale, when you get there, sink into that front knee, sink into the earth with the feet. And now heel to that left foot forward. Kind of straighten that left leg as we send the, or the right leg as we send the weight into the right foot. 
find that block, and then rise up to our Ashtachandra. So I'm gonna wall there, so I'm gonna have to bring it back. And then radiate that low in all directions. And sigh. Deep breath in. Exhale, sigh in. That's my knee for the standing leg, I guess, the only knee that will help to bend. Send the left foot back, back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips, and then we'll pivot that left foot so the toes face forward, and then bring the hands on the inside of the right foot. Heel toe that right foot way, way out to the side. And we'll come into lizards. So you can lower that left knee if you want. You can stay on your hands. You can come down to your forearms, but that right knee, we really want to send the right knee out so it kind of opens up the inside of the hips there. And the left leg can be up if you want. We'll just rest here and I'll use it for a couple breaths. Maybe let out the air through the mouth. Exhale out the mouth, stick the tongue out, line the breath. And now let's bring your hands to the earth if they're not there already. Bring that right knee in, kind of towards center. You can heel toe the foot in, lower that left knee. Top of the left foot on the earth will rise up on Jalayasana. Really nice, guys. Inhale. Exhale, maybe notice that those hip flexors opening. This low lunge. Inhale. Now exhale, let's send our hands to the Earth, the knee comes back. We're going to find a camel again. So you can curl the toes under, lift the hips, stack the hips over the knees, send the hips forward. You know what? If you have a block, bring a block and bring it between the thighs here, just for a little added kind of accountability here to engage those thighs so they turn inward towards each other, internal rotation on the thighs. If you don't have a block, it's totally fine. Now roll the shoulders back with the heart, hands in the back pockets. Hearts forward and up, head back. And now maybe this time, if you want to find the heel with your hands, but keep those hips driving forward. We're not going to lean back. You keep the hips driving forward as if there were a wall. You're pressing your hips into the wall. One more breath here. Now exhale, bring the hands towards the back pockets, lift the chest, shoulders over the hips, pull the shoulders back. You can maybe bring the knees a little bit further apart, the back drops down, put it off to the side, touch the feet to the earth, and begin to just kind of sway and make some hip circles. Move those hips around. And one more breath. And then we'll exhale, let's bring our forearms to the floor, bring the knees back, puppy pose, melting the heart down, we exhale out the mouth. And sigh. Let it go one more time, exhale. And now lift the head and the heart, Send the heart between the biceps, the shoulders stack over the elbows, the legs come long for Shalamba Bhujangasana, Sphinx pose, palms down, the elbows underneath the shoulders, pull those elbows and the palms back towards the hips. Then that energetic engagement, pubic bone to the floor, heart lifts. Again, if that's a little bit too much compression on the low back, and bring those elbows forward with the heart. Maybe close the eyes. And rest in that ability to manifest. And exhale, open the eyes. Let's bring the hands kind of towards the shoulders, under the shoulders. Let's sit back in child's pose just a little bit. 
to stretch out that low back that we compressed in our sphinx pose. Maybe send that right hip crease towards the right foot as we press our hands into the floor. And now press the left hip crease towards that left heel. Press the hands into the floor. And now rise up to tabletop. Just a little bit and we'll roll onto our backs. And now on our backs, let's lift that low back up and then place it back down so the whole back's on the earth. Let's hug our knees into our chest, massage that low back. Maybe bring the knees really wide. And then we'll exhale to find a happy baby, a nanda balasana. Outsides of the foot you can grab. If that's not quite accessible, then find the shins, the calves. Pull those knees down. Feel the love radiating in your heart. Feel the heart connected to the earth, and the back body, to the heavens, up the front body. Now exhale, bring the legs long. Let's make our way into fish pose. We don't do this one a lot, but it's, it's really beautiful. We're gonna bring our hands you can bring both hands kind of under the glutes just a little bit. And then press the forearms and the elbow into the floor. The legs are long. You can point the toes if you want. The feet can be kind of loose. But press the forearms, the elbows down, and then lift the heart. But the, when you press the elbows and the forearms down and the hands down, you can lift the heart, lift the heart, lift the chest. And now tuck the head back. Maybe the crown of the head comes to the floor. And the crown of the head kind of rests gently, but the most of the weight is on the elbow and the forearms. This is our heart opening, throat chakra opening, supportive asana. And if that's too much on the head, just lay the back of the head down. You don't have to bring the neck, the head, the crown of the head all the way down. You can kind of bend the back of the neck. Back of the head, I mean. That's it. You can stay here for a couple more breaths, or if you want to come out, press the elbows down. Kind of the head kind of brushes the floor, and then lift the head lower down. Move the hands from underneath the glutes. And exhale, Shavasana. There's a pose that we didn't get to today that you with energy full circle. Offer that to yourself. Allow the entire back body to rest in the floor. This is our resting pose. Maybe bring your hands to the heart. And maybe bring your awareness back to what you pictured at the beginning of class to manifest. And know that that is being taken into the ethers, into the universe, and being supported to manifest. Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 K
kiss a frog just in case. Namaste.